episode 6 of The Catalyst. We are here today at Alcide Villiers Sport Grounds in Pretoria. And we're doing something different today. We are out in the open and we're not meeting a business person. We are meeting someone inspirational. Yes, we're about to meet Hendrik van der Merwe, which is more known as Coach Legs. He was born a swimmer before, but he overcame his disability. He became a national swimmer and also a swimming coach. These days you'll find him motivating others with motivational speakers and his YouTube videos. So let's go meet the guy off to the behind the scenes. Let's go. Hendrik, thank you for joining us on the Get List. This is our sixth episode and uh, yeah, welcome and thank you for making time for us. It's a nice hot spring day, so I think PJ, give us, we uh, had a drink and we gonna, you said you like gin and tonic as well. Oh, sounds so very good. Tonic, PJ, <laughs> if you can give us a nice gin and tonic so we can enjoy while we're having this interview. Now we've actually known each other. Thank you. For a while, yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. We've actually known each other since childhood. Our father, or actually, our two fathers are our two friends. Yes, and yes. I don't know if you remember on the farm that one day, specific vivid memory for me, we were catching frogs and collecting frogs and putting them in a basket. I don't know if you remember that. And I don't know what the aim was of that, whether we were racing the frogs or see if you could collect them much, as much fro frogs. Do you remember that? I vaguely remember <laughs> that, but uh, I used to catch frogs quite the, quite on, on quite the regular. So, so it was your bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't kiss the frogs. Okay. Yeah. So so luckily. Yeah, so you grew up in the farm and now you're living in the, the city. Yes, yes. So yeah, how did that happen maybe from, if you can just take us back a little bit. Um, well, I actually went to hostel at the age of four and then in Johannesburg and then standard two grade four. I went back to the farm and I was in school there till high school and then I went back to Johannesburg and then uh, grade 10 when I was 16 I came here and I really started chasing my swimming career. Yeah, in Pretoria. Yeah, at Tux. Yes, yes. So when did you start swimming? At the high school or earlier than that? Uh, I always messed around in the dams and stuff as a kid swimming. And then, uh, yeah, when was it? 14 years old I started. And then 15 years old I swam my first international competition. Okay. Yeah. And then 16 years old, that's where we really started pounding the mileage. Yeah. <laughs> So, was swimming a passion of yours, or was it just a talent na you naturally had? Um, in grade 8 and 9, the hostel I was in was very bad. We used to get into fights the whole time. Oh, I don't know if you've ever seen disabled people fighting. It's <laughs> quite the spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I, stopped sw uh, I started swimming in the afternoons so that I can be out of hostel in the afternoons and I miss out on study times as well <laughs> Bonus. and then uh, yeah then I just started picking up like that and it all sort of had a snowball effect. So it was a route for you to escape so yes, you yes. just basically be on your own and then you find you're very good at swimming and then when did coaching become part of you, you yeah, part of the ritual yeah, when did you started coaching? Uh, coaching, I think I started in after World Championships in 2013. I had to start uh, making my own income, so I did coaching and swimming. It was kind of hard to balance, but yeah. that's why I retired last year, because I need to make a living as well, but at least I'm still involved in the sport, so I really enjoy that. So you're 100% in coaching now? Yes. And not just that, you're a very motivational guy, you do motivation speaking as well. Yes. yes. And um, I love your Instagram. Um, well, your, and YouTube, your name is Coach Legs. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so maybe you can just uh, tell us about the name. So. Um, the name Legs I got in, I think it was on, it was on Swimming Tour 2006, I think if I remember correctly. Uh, two of my uh, friends gave me that name and it just stuck throughout the years. And then uh, me and my roommate Rob started a business called Coach Legs and it's where fitness and motivation come together. Yeah. So you use something that's making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes what's in the way is the way. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's very good. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, um, and I've watched, like we just said, you've got an Instagram, and, and people at home that haven't seen it, it's very motivating for me. And um, I'm sure a lot of people will find it motivating. But what make, motivates you? What, what makes you get up in the mornings and like, really look forward to the day? Uh, I always enjoy people saying uh, it's inspirational what I'm doing, so that kind of fuels me. 
And then I'm in love with fitness, fitness and uh, just developing future leaders within the swimming community as well because the sport brings so much more than just fitness and uh, good physique and all these things. The, the mental part of it is, is uh, what intrigues me the most. It teaches you discipline. Yes, yes. Yeah. Discipline and the will to carry on because there's a lot of times you don't want to be in the pool and you're staring at a black line. And then it's nice helping the kids get over that hump and just bringing out more within them. Yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, there's a lot of followers. You've got over 12,000 followers yes, after yeah. the show, maybe 12,001. <laughs> we hope for the best. Um, but it's, we're just going to do a quick fire minute now. We're going to ask quick rapid questions. So you've got three seconds to yeah, answer it. First thing that comes to your mind, just, just, you know, you can just answer. Okay. Breaststroke or freestyle? Breaststroke. I'm a breaststroker, yeah. <laughs> and what is your favorite distance? Uh, I used to perform well in 100 meters, but I enjoyed the 50 especially, but unfortunately it never was an international event. Yeah. The 50? The 50 okay. meters, yeah. So like the shorter Yes, yes. Um, hobbies outside of swimming? Uh, YouTube, Instagram <laughs> and Facebook, yeah. Uh, I enjoy the coach legs business and, and building that up, yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. And what makes you angry? Surely there must be something that like, makes you angry. Uh, I hate unfairness, <laughs> so yeah, if people are unreasonable and uh, you know there's a saying that says uh, read a book it might just do serious harm to your ignorance, <laughs> so yeah, That's people cool. who are ignorant that gets under my skin sometimes but it takes a high level of that to get yeah. me upset. And yeah. muddy water maybe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've had that actually. <laughs> yeah. okay. And um, what's your favorite movie? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Um, I'd say uh, Grandma's Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grandma's Boy, I don't, seen it. I don't think I've seen it. No. Who's the actors? Um, yes, I'm not sure the name. But it's not the Oscar actors. winning movie. <laughs> no, it doesn't no, sound like, like that. Yeah. No, it's it's more comedy or do you like comedy? <laughs> yeah, I um, mostly watch comedy or action. John Wick is also one of my favorites. Okay. The action scenes in there. It's very deep and uh, Keanu Reeves actually really trains with weapons and stuff to make it look more legit uh, within the movies, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And besides Keanu Reeves, who's your role model? <laughs> uh, there's a few. I like Conor McGregor, the, the whole <laughs> spectacle with Floyd and stuff. But uh, what intrigues me there is just the mindset of both fighters. But I like Connor because he always, nothing is with uh, uh, outreach or nothing is... Uh, out of reach. Out of reach, yes, that's the wording. Um, and then The Rock is also good. Mm. And then uh, a big influence is Gary Vaynerchuk. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. Especially on the social media side yes, yes. that you want to emulate. Um, well, I take a lot of stuff from him, but what I like about all these guys is uh, outside factors never influence them. They are always just focused on what they want to achieve and they block out the noise. They came from humble beginnings. I yes. Conor McGregor's story, and especially Dwayne Johnson, the yes, yes. very humble beginnings. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that's motivating to see someone and achieve this level of success. Yes, for that sure. They are achieving, yeah. yeah, it's great fuel. So, and for coach legs going forward, so is it so it's going to be half training, half social media, or where do you see that? Um, well, the social media, as Gary V would say, it's just documenting. It's not creating content. So um, I look to go further with all the public speaking stuff, and then eventually supply people with uh, workout routines, nutrition routines not just uh, stuck to gym or just swimming across the whole board, just for general fitness and well-being. And that's able bodies and disabled bodies. Yes. You, you coach everyone, you're willing to coach anyone. Yes, anyone yes, anyone. Learn, yeah. And then uh, I also wrote a book. It's just uh, in the stages of proofreading. So okay. when that's out, that will be good yeah, as well. well. Definitely. Yes, yes. I'm going to look out for that. I'll right. definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just, I think towards the end, what would you tell someone, um, your younger self, someone that just starting high school perhaps, is there like one or two things you would wish you knew at 13, 14, 
that you will tell to someone entering that stage in their life? Um, I'd say emotional intelligence, being self-aware of your thoughts and actions because emotions come and go like the wind, but you know, one choice can change your whole life going forward. So I think uh, making right choices and just being self-aware of, of what you are doing. Because if you are self-aware, you won't have so much external factors revving you up emotionally and you can stay more focused on what's like ahead. Know who you are. Yes. And where you want to go. Yes, for sure. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. We're going to have a bit of a challenge now. The first time, apart from the quick fire challenge, we're going to have a physical challenge. Okay. Um, we discussed it and nominated Joe to do the challenge with you because no one wants to see me without a shirt. <laughs> and so we're going to do a swim challenge because we are here at LC and right. let's see how it goes. And you're going to have a bit of a race. Yeah. And oh. otherwise, if you, if you win him, you can give him some tips and how it works. Yeah, please do. Yeah, I think I need some tips. Swimming was never my strong point, but uh, no, I look forward to it. Okay, let's, let's do it. Still. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Coach Lex, so we're going to do your favorite event now, the 50 meters breast track. Right. So I hope you know what's waiting for you. All right. So no let's go problem. do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, Hugh, we are doing his favorite event, the 50 meter breast track. How do you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, my breast track is not too strong, but let's see. Hopefully I just keep uh, above water. I haven't swam in quite a while, but you know, I'm up for it. Let's do this. I don't know if it looked like it, but I gave it my all. I really used my legs and everything. And kudos to him, it was a good race. I lost my glasses at the beginning. So I do want to take him on in freestyle. But I must congratulate him on the breaststroke. He kicked my ass, yeah. Well <laughs> he also had me there on the first 25. Hendrik, how was the race? Uh, it was very good. I felt good in the beginning. But the last 10 meters, I was hurting. Um, I went to gym as well this morning. So it's a bit tough, yeah. And what do you think about when you swim like eight hours long? Um, <laughs> when I used to swim so much, focus on stroke, uh, you focus on the goal at hand, holding the right pace within the session, and then obviously fighting your thoughts of saying you can't go anymore. That's the biggest one. And what would you say to someone that wants to start swimming? So just climbing in the pool or...? Um, <laughs> I'd say, see, Work on the fitness first on how long you can go without stopping. Take small breaks and then continue after that again and get that time period longer and longer to build a nice base first for yourself. Okay, good, let's see how the second race goes. <laughs> okay, Gio, I don't know what's correct term, but I think you get your ass kicked there. Yeah, I know, that is the correct term. Hendrik is a hell of a competitor, but I, we're going to do freestyle now. I'm a little bit more comfortable with the freestyle. So let's try that, let's see if it it goes a little bit better. We we try until you win some. <laughs> <laughs> or until I drown. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, you guys. Oh, yes, thank you. So the score is 2 0 for Coach <laughs> Legs. So your reputation is still intact. Oh, thank you. And I think you can give complimentary lessons maybe to Jay. Yeah, I think I need to come to you to a couple of lessons in the pool. Eh? Well, he almost had me there on the freestyle. I think maybe it's just the fitness on the last 10 meters that was on my side, but speed was definitely on his side. <laughs> So next time we'll do a five meter race, then you yeah, yeah, will uh, beat me by I agree far. to that one. Yes. Yeah, well, thank you for your time and uh, I really learned a lot from you and just keep on motivating people. I mean, thank I'm you. motivated by you and just keep on doing what you're doing. I'm sure you motivate a lot of people and well done. No, thanks for having me as well. Thanks, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Thank you.